All of these experiments were done by professionals, so please don't try any of these at home. Fine, fine, I'll leave. Magic school is overrated anyways. I know where I can go. Ah, oh, that's better. But it is kind of dark in here. I know. I'll show those wizards how overrated their magic school is. Where is that wand? Oh, there it is. Lumos. Lumos? Lumos! Stupid thing. It never works for me. Well, I am in a chemistry lab, so what would a chemist do? What you just saw was an example of a chemiluminescent reaction. <coughs> what we had is a luminol solution and a peroxide solution, and when we added them together, we made a high energy intermediate species in which there was excited electrons. So you generally have electrons that can be in the ground state, which is the resting state, or you can have it in an excited state. And when they're in an excited state, they obviously want to get back down to the ground state because that's more stable. So as they're traveling back down to the ground state, they have to release energy. And they do that in the form of photons, which was the light you just saw. So it can be one that's a reaction. Wow, that was cool. Or you could just turn the lights on. But now I want to put a fire charm on this without burning it. Where is that wand? Incendia. Incendia. Magic never works. But maybe chemists could do this. people perceive as magic. I'm proud to be a chemist because chemistry is at the heart of everything that we make, buy, and use in today's society. I'm a chemist because I can use crystallography and symmetry to figure out why this copper sulfate pentahydrate crystal is so beautiful. I'm proud to be a chemist because I get to teach awesome students. <laughs> 